Hey, what is going on, guys? Dean here. Welcome to another podcast of SmackDown Live Talk. And what a SmackDown it was. I was actually having fun. I was enjoyed with SmackDown Live. A lot really happened. A lot of turnarounds. And I'm just... I'm just ready for WrestleMania. Uh, so, SmackDown Live started off with The Miz TV. Uh, the Miz called out John Cena. And The Miz was saying how John Cena is always in the spotlight technically and burying other superstars and always getting the spotlight. Uh, so, John Cena... Turns around to the mid and saying, you're one of those guys that says the same crap over and over and over again. And it's nothing new to John Cena. We all know that. Um, but this is leading up to the match for WrestleMania. So the Miz and Maurice is in the ring. And John Cena is talking to the Miz. And the Miz was kept saying about how he did main event WrestleMania before and how he beat the John Cena before. And it's just going to lead up to a crazy, crazy feud to WrestleMania. Then at one point when John Cena, he did call out The Undertaker. And John Cena turns around, tries to leave out the ring. The Maurice st- uh, stops John Cena and says you ain't going anywhere and Maurice just slaps John Cena across the face and John Cena takes the mic tells Maurice that she made a terrible terrible mistake and out comes Nikki Bella so this is the start off of the feud now and they Maurice and the Miz just vanish from the ring and we'll see what happens from then now, with being said with John Cena and Nikki Bella, they're having a match against Carmella. And, um, uh, <laughs> why am I forgetting his name? <laughs> uh, No Chin Franklin. There we go. That's his name. <laughs> we call him No Chin Franklin. If you guys don't know who Franklin is, Franklin the Turtle. But it's hysterical. So. They're having the match next week in the tag match. And we'll see what happens with that. I think uh, The Miz and Maurice is going to interfere in John Cena's match next week. And yeah, because we know James Ellsworth is not going to go anywhere. (laughs) Uh, So with that being said, um, I'm surprised they actually... I don't know why... This wasn't the main event. Uh, AJ Styles versus Luke Harper. This should have been the main event. Right before they did the Bray Wyatt segment. But before I get to those, let's talk about Dean Ambrose. Um, Dean Ambrose comes out. Apparently he was supposed to have a match against Kurt Hawkins. But Dean Ambrose just gets in the ring and just dirty deeds Kurt Hawkins. And that was it. So, Kurt Hawkins is done. He's like a waste of space right now for us. Then, Dean Ambrose really, really wants Baron Corbin. And Baron Corbin comes up on the Titan Tron saying, Dean, I'm not that easy. Uh, I'm not just going to come out in the ring and do whatever I ha- he has to do. Um, So, I think next week, something's going to happen, go down. Uh, I think Baron Corbin's going to... Challenge Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Champion, which is most likely to happen at WrestleMania. Uh, but I think that'll be cool, and I hope it'll be like a no holds bars or no DQ match. Uh, so that'll be awesome. So no match there, but it was just a little segment. So we'll see what happens next week with that. Now, with that being said, Dolph Ziggler had a match against Apollo Crews in the chairs match. Uh, it was decent, not too bad. Uh, they did pull some moves that did get me in shock, especially with Apollo Crews. But unfortunately, uh, Apollo Crews couldn't come up with the win, and Dolph Ziggler defeated Apollo Crews. And I hope this is like the last feud, which I really doubt. But you know, I'm getting tired of seeing this feud. <laughs> so, what should have been next? 
was AJ Styles versus Luke Harper. Winner goes on to face Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania in the main event for the WWE Championship. Now, this match was actually pretty enjoyable. Uh, Luke Harper did improve a lot in his uh, wrestling ring skills. I enjoyed it. And apparently, uh, AJ Styles uh, pinned Luke Harper. And Luke Harper did have his foot on the ropes. uh, But the ref didn't see it. Declared AJ Styles the winner. Out comes Shane McMahon saying that they're going to have a rematch. But it doesn't make sense. They would replay that Luke Harper put his foot on the ropes but last week they couldn't replay AJ Styles touching the ground first so that's just took me off like oh but they will replay that and restart that but you know it is what it is uh so they restarted it at one point Shane McMahon and Styles was outside of the ring and out of nowhere Luke Harper Kicked, did a sweet chin to Shane McMahon by accident. And they're both back in the ring. AJ Styles and Luke Harper. And AJ Styles pins Luke Harper. Now this was a turnaround because I thought and I know everyone thought that Luke Harper was going to win this match. Which would have made perfect clear sense as the Wyatt family would do a triple threat at WrestleMania. But apparently now it's AJ Styles versus... Bray Wyatt. So, decent match. I enjoyed it. Uh, so, congrats to AJ Styles. Looking forward to seeing him at WrestleMania main event. Now, let's talk about the Bray Wyatt segment and Randy Orton. Bray Wyatt comes out. He knows AJ Styles is the winner. And Randy Orton came on the Titan Tron saying that he is tired of following Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. It's just going to go after Bray Wyatt now. And Randy Orton burnt down Bray Wyatt's little, I would say like a hideout or like his temple space. But Randy Orton burnt down this little barn and like the last pieces of Sister Abigail, which torn Bray Wyatt apart. And Bray Wyatt was like losing his strength, and he was just getting emotional, and Randy Orton is going to come for Bray Wyatt. So I think this is now where Randy Orton is going to turn around, make it into a triple threat, and fight for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. So I I did enjoy SmackDown. It was awesome. Uh, No questions about it. And I'm excited for next week's SmackDown. <laughs> uh, they did have Becky Lynch versus Mickey James in the two out of three falls count. Uh, I'm glad Becky Lynch won that match. Uh, so, yeah, that's the women's match that happened. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for listening to SmackDown Live Talk Podcast. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this new podcast way. If you guys like it, let me know. I know you guys like the Raw talk podcast uh so that's awesome so that shows me that you guys like this if you guys want me to keep doing it i will uh so with that being said thank you guys so much for listening to smackdown live podcast and let me know in the comments if you guys like it and what you think of smackdown so i will see you guys tomorrow